Priests like Metropolitan Oleksandr face a choice. Join Ukraine's new independent church and be labeled a heretic by supporters of his own church, or stay away and risk being branded a Russian agent. It is a decision facing thousands of clerics as Ukraine prepares to sever ties to the Russian Orthodox Church. Oleksandr is a member of the traditionally dominant Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. He wants to join the new church because of what he calls the Moscow Patriarchate's poisonous association with the Russian state. Unfortunately, today we see the body of Russian Orthodox Church is completely poisoned by politics. We clearly understand and know that we have never seen such a unity of Patriarchate and the Kremlin and Kremlin politics before even during Soviet times. That is why, in order for Ukraine to live its full and independent life, probably we need to separate the Ukrainian Orthodox Church from Russian using a surgical method which the Ukrainian authorities apply today. Ukraine in October secured approval to set up an independent church from the ecumenical patriarch in Istanbul, the global spiritual leader of Orthodox Christians. Alexander estimates between 40 or 70 percent of Moscow Patriarchate churches will join the new church, though his parishioners have mixed views. Some support it. Ukraine desires to receive autocephaly for more than 100 years now, and it is very important that people like Metropolitan Alexander take part in this process, because he belongs to the canonical church and he was a student of Metropolitan Volodymyr, former head of Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate, who also started the discussion of autocephaly. This discussion is certainly very needed, and it is very important that people who listen to Alexander's views and to other priests to realize in what direction the Ukrainian church is moving. While others see it as something outside of religion. This church, which is currently under the control of Metropolitan Onufrio of the Moscow Patriarchate, is the Ukrainian church for me. And I don't really understand the interference of Constantinople. Frankly speaking, it's a sort of political game in my view. But for the Ukrainian authorities, it is an essential step to tackling Russia's influence on its soil, four years after Russia annexed Crimea and backed separatists in a conflict that has killed more than 10,000 people. The war was the final point which brought Ukrainians to the point of understanding their identity today. Support for the Kiev Patriarchate has swelled. The next step is for Ukraine's various church strands to meet to decide the makeup of the church and who will lead it.